Good morning, guys. Wait, let me do that again. Good afternoon, guys. It's 12.45. Um, look at that natural lighting, though. Oh, 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 my nose is so good. Wilfred, shush. Um, so we just got back from Tasman and the pet store. We went to get some dog meat, cat food, and litter. We also got some... Subway for lunch? Yum. It's been ages since we had Subway. And it's a really, really beautiful day outside. My hair is actually behaving for once. Um, this hair dye has lasted a long time. I'm pretty sure it's still the same color as when I did it um, over a month ago now, five weeks. And it's still really vibrant. Anyway. Um, so we are going to eat some lunch and then I'll repack the dog meat and then we will probably, depending on how hot it is outside, get onto some, uh, gardening and yeah, having a good day today. Hi Wilfred. No, you can't have my lunch. Wag, wag, wag. Anyway, glorious day. Clear blue skies. Must be like 20, 21 degrees. Hi. Um, you should probably go inside now. The dogs are coming. Mm. Hi. Can I smell your butt? I don't recommend it. Don't smell his butt. His butt will smell weird. Where are you going? Don't panic and jump on the fridge and then get stuck, okay? You don't fit under the fridge. Adam. You, you don't fit under the fridge. Welcome, committee. Did he just swipe it? No. Wilfred, or did you just dance? Did you dance at him? danced at him. He gets scared when you dance at him, darling. Look at his tail. You're so happy, aren't you? Wave it. Wave it. Cow, wave it, please. Hi. Right. Go back into the garden and some bake. Come here, Tilly. Oh, hi. Hi. You're so cute. So are you. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wilfred gets first dibs on the bone today. He's very pleased. He went and dropped it into the mound of grass clippings. So it's got a nice coating of vegetables on it. <coughs> Tilly! Mr. Moose scared Tilly. There's a whole heap of forest over there and here that we have to deal with. We're going to need to give this tree a trim again because it grows like crazy. We need to get rid of that stuff. And then there's this whole section back here near the lemon tree um, that's all just tall grass and weeds. And then we have this section here, which is just like dead, dead tree branches and stuff that we'll need to take to the tip. And then over here, um, this is sort of as far as Mr. Moose got with whippersnippering. So we're going to have to clean it out with a rake. And that's actually a mound of dirt under there. And a whole bunch of things that got clipped down. All the way down there. And down the end, that's our old washing machine that we have to take to the tip. But behind that is just mirror bushes that we also need to um, chainsaw down and pour like acid onto or something. They look like that when you cut them down. 
but that grew back to that size in like half a year so they grow back pretty quickly and then we go like this backwards so he can't see Oh yeah, just not too much, just the tips. Oh yeah, good boy, good boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my friend, my friend. Oh oh, stop stop stop. Yum yum yum. Mmm yum yum yum. He's okay, good boy. It's like oh, I'm just forward, but I don't know. Tell us no. You're gonna have to like hold her focus. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See, isn't this better than the shower? You've got more space. Ah, okay. oh, don't go yet. Don't go. Don't go. She's gonna jump. No. It's just before four o'clock in the afternoon. Sitting out here with a big bottle of water and iced coffee. Just about to start subtitling yesterday's vlog. My capsicum are still growing very slowly, so I haven't transplanted them yet. Uh, they've been sitting outside though for the last uh, maybe three weeks, so they are getting used to being outside. But as a result, they seem to have stopped growing. They're just staying like that so I think it's maybe not warm enough um, uh, Alfred is in the back garden on eating the bone he's in the shade towels looking particularly fluffy as we bathed her <laughs> it was a messy job and Warfred he didn't get a bath but he had his front claws clipped in the bath and that was really, really, really brave of him. We've never, ever been able to clip his claws by ourselves. We've taken him to the groomers twice to get them done. He can normally keep them down by himself, but sometimes we need to clip them. And he's already so iffy about his feet getting touched. And we've had to really desensitize him. And now he'll let me touch any of his feet. And he'll let me play with his front feet. He doesn't let me play with his back feet, but I can play with his front feet. So we did his front feet. And he's getting a bit better about Mr. Moose touching his feet too. Although he's still pretty wary of him going anywhere near his feet with the clippers. But he's getting braver. And I don't know where Tilly is, but we gave her a bath too. And hi. And um... We gave her some anti-itchy, like an anti-itchy treatment because she's, she gets pretty itchy during hay fever season. We're back from Westfield. We popped by Target to get some stuff and also the supermarket. We just grabbed some croissants and bread and like stuff for breakfast and lunch. So, yeah. Um, I picked up a couple more tumblers. This one's got creepy teeth fruit things going on, so I thought that was good for spraying. And I picked up a Christmas tumbler as well. 
And so these are really cheap, like the ones I get, the like $3 ones. So they don't last too long, maybe a few months. What happens is the top, um, the seal either starts like cracking or the actual lid cracks when you're like screwing it on. But they are really nice for like drinking hot beverages because it, they're insulated so it's a lot easier to hold um, when it's hot. But it, I don't know, I like them. And I also found Michan's Christmas present, which I can't show you. It's over here. Very excited about it. And Mr. Moose picked up just some shorts and a bunch of colourful and exciting t-shirts. Because he likes to always have a splash of colour in his life. And I found a cute little stripy crop top. And I found a cardigan. There were many more cardigans to Target. Um, I love this brand. Lily loves. I've got a couple of her cardigans. I've got an XXL so it's massive and it's a weird, really weird shape. I have to like try it on to show you. So I'm just wearing it over a nightgown, um, a nightdress, so it's like it's a bit easier to see the contrast of the colours but basically it's like, it's like, I don't know, mid thigh at the back and then, <coughs> excuse me. And then the front is like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's like a, Mr. Moose equated it to like a Snuggie. So it's got these giant flappy wing things and it just kind of like sits at the front like this. So it's not a style I've ever purchased before, but it's certainly interesting. Yeah. I don't know, I'm liking it. The colour is uh, really bizarre and the I don't go for these kind of patterns at all, but I'm not really going to be wearing it out, so that's fine. It's just super cuddly though. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>